Salam Angrates have been terrorizing Dual Links since its initial release with the Varane's world, especially in best of three tournament formats, but in regular ranked duels and KC Cups, experienced players know that it isn't that hard of a deck to beat. Salam Angrates have a number of significant weaknesses that can only be solved if they draw the out or lose a whole lot of resources to bring out a situational and hard to summon extra deck monster. In this video I will be using the phrase drawing the out a lot, that is because every deck has an out or some specific card that counters the deck, but if the out is unsearchable, you'll only be able to access it by drawing it, which is quite inconsistent. This is why having a searchable in archetype out is much more preferable over drawing the out. One of the biggest weaknesses of the deck is its incredibly low stats. Their own archetypes monsters cap out at 2300 ATK and self-linking Heatleo means that you cannot self-link Sunlight Wolf fusing Sanctuary in the same turn. Even then, the deck can beat over one high attack monster at most, which becomes an issue when they face multiple monsters with more than 2380k. While Needle Sealing counters the opponent having multiple high attack monsters, that requires Salaman Greats to draw the out, which itself can be prevented by generic back row removal before it is activatable. It is also very difficult for Salaman Greats to summon Xyz monsters while still having a strong back row lineup, and the Xyz monsters are not protected by bail links, which makes them quite easy to get rid of. As a graveyard reliant deck, Anti graveyard counters are extremely effective against Salaman Greats. The deck gains its impressive card advantage by constantly recycling cards from the graveyard, including special summoning monsters from the graveyard for link material or reusing negates and searches. This is why players have been using Necruvli to counter the deck. The floodgate effect of Necruvli alone can win games against Salaman Greats and their in archetype back row removals don't work against Necruvli. Fox's graveyard effect is negated by Necruvli, and Heatleo cannot target field spells with its effect, not to mention that some decks have the ability to search Necruvli, making it a consistent out to Salaman Greats. Again, Salaman Greats have to either draw the out or immediately concede. D Fisher and the Seal Tombs skill are also great graveyard counters to Salaman Greats. Salaman Greats are heavily reliant on Raw to disrupt their opponents. Without Raw, the deck doesn't have any monster removal, making it hard to justify playing Salaman Greats over other competitive decks that can set three and consistently make monsters with actually high stats. End boards without Roar are often just a few low ATK monsters like Sunlight Wolf and 1-2 set back row, some of which, like Circle, don't even disrupt the opponent. Salaman Greats without Roar are simply just Salaman mid. That's why banishing Roar specifically from the graveyard or preventing it from being added to their hand weakens the deck so much. DD Crow is an obvious counter and perhaps the best staple against the deck, being able to counter Salam Greats even on turn 1. Some other decks that have searchable in archetype graveyard banish effects or strong back row removal don't even need to draw the out by having DD Crow in their opening hand. And most importantly, one of the major characteristics of tier 0 decks is that the specific counters made to counter tier 0 decks tend to lose to other meta decks, but many counters to Salaman Great are good generic staples that counter a lot of other decks, as most of the counters are anti graveyard techs. For example, Necruvli and DD Crow are excellent against Galaxy Photons, Heroes, and Rose Dragons and DD Crow can even counter the graveyard effects of Burning Abyss and Atlantean monsters when they are sent as cost. If you despise Salaman Greats with the bottom of your heart, here are some decks that have in archetype outs to Salaman Greats, while also being decent against other decks, so that you don't have to rely on drawing the out every time. The best type of deck against Salaman Greats are Pendulums, since they don't have a clear choke point in their combos and can spam multiple high attack monsters, which is difficult for Salaman Greats to out. Odd Eyes are mainly considered the best deck to counter Salaman Greats, as the deck can set scales without being negated using their skill, spam high attack monsters without activating an effect, 
which is usually only countered if Salamang greats draw the out such as drawing warning point, and have access to Necrovely, making Abyss Dweller turn 1 also limits the explosivity of Salamang great combos. Abyss actors are very underrated in this meta, the reason why this deck counters the meta so well is because of their skill, sealed tombs. The deck can consistently trigger the skill every duel, without drawing the out, by using the pendulum effect of Mellow Madonna, and completely counter decks like Galaxy Photons that rely on special summoning from the graveyard and heavily restrict Salamang Great End boards. Even when going second, using Seal Tombs ensures that Bay Links cannot protect their Salamang Great cards and eliminates their follow up plays. The large amount of back row removals in this deck not only increase the deck's consistency by popping Wild Hope but also act as excellent counters to Salamang Great Roar and especially Eternal Soul from Dark Magicians. Superstar also counters one of the deadliest outs to Pendulums, Warning Point and Floodgate Trap Hole. Since the choke point of the deck varies depending on their starting hand, most Salamang Great players keep their roar to negate Superstar's effect, but this can be played around easily by not using Superstar's effect at all. A full board of pendulum monsters under sealed tombs is more than enough to completely exhaust a Salamang great player's resources, and best of all, the deck is extremely cheap to build as their archetype cards come from a single mini box and their entire extra deck is optional. Pl is perhaps the cheapest anti Salamang great deck in the game. Only needing a single mini box and no extra deck cards. Klyce can consistently pump out threat after threat while chain blocking raw using cards like Cliff or Stealth. The deck itself is not very competitive, but it is an effective option to counter Salamang greats and have some fun in ranked. Moving on from Pendulums, Satellanite actually have a pretty interesting, and consistent, out to Salamang greats specifically. Both Sunlight Wolf and Heatlio require fire effect monsters as their link material and Batlamius turns all monsters into dark monsters, making your opponent unable to summon their best link monsters while Batlamius is on the field. In conclusion, there are tons of staples and in archetype counters to Salamang greats that don't require drawing the out, and it is instead Salamang great, the deck itself, that needs to draw the outs like Needle Ceiling and MST to counter its counters. I'm not saying that Salamang greats are bad. After all they're still a super consistent control deck that can negate every turn and spam links and exes monsters, but people need to understand that the deck is a lot less good than how it's portrayed by some people. Thanks for watching goodbye.